in trouble now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can click and drag too. Uh, there we go. Boom, 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 boom. Another thing that we want to improve is like right now they just walk up all the way straight up to where the you know where where the building that they're building is, but you know obviously we want that to have range. Of course, so yeah. we're gonna add that. Quality. I love the look of these. Yeah. Another thing that we're missing right now is like the, the placement visualization. Like normally you have like little ghosts that let you know what's going to be, uh, what would you have planned, you know, especially when you hold shifts. Yeah. If you hold shift, you have your waypoints, you know? Yep. Um, so yeah, you can, you can see what the, uh, what the different units uh, have, uh, have planned and stuff. Uh, so you can queue up your different builds. You can do assists with engineers. So you can have like a engineers assisting upgrade to your alloy wells. You can have engineers assisting your your factory, um, resuming something that you know so you started to build, but then you went away to do something else. Um, you can do all that. Awesome. Now, which one is? Can I build more engineers? Which one's engineers? Yeah, that's that's the engineer. The the one, yeah, uh, the one just before the end, second to last. That there one. We go. Yeah. Give myself a bit more build power. The, the icon in the in the build bar isn't like uh, the correct one, but uh, sure. The the icon for the strategic <laughs> icon is is the correct. <laughs> I think you have enough uh, uh, alloy wells to upgrade one now. Yeah. Is it going to let me uh, assist that? Yeah, absolutely. So the build bar is going a little bit faster now. And your resources are going down much faster. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Yeah, and uh, as I was saying, like since uh, since we have like uh, the upgrades to like um, tech, tech two and tech three for alloy wells and for the factory and for the tech center, um, but we don't have the uh, tech two and tech three power generators in game yet. Um, that actually uh, makes it so that right now you have to build a lot of tech one power generators to compensate for that. Right. <laughs> sure. Yeah, you can take like, um, so that's the one that's building, but the one that's on the side there, he's already done. Uh -huh. uh, and, the, and there's also the one that completed the, um, the assist of the alloy uh, well. Uh, so you can take a couple of those and like have him build a, a tech center if you want. Oh yeah, do that. Just got to get out of this mass hole I'm in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. So I think what like what this um, showcases is that like, you know, this kind of uh, large scale project is is actually doable by by you know our ragtag team of individuals it's uh from all over know, the world as well uh, i think it needs to be said it's quite yeah, impressive yeah. that you and yeah. uh, nine for instance are on opposite ends of the globe and you're still managing to yeah yeah we got we got a, a developer who's really good who's from south africa we've got uh, a canadian american uh, a lot of people do. We've got a lot of people from Poland. We've got a, uh, people, a guy from Czechoslovakia. We've got a German, uh, Brit uh, British. Uh, well, two, because Brett and, and uh, Philip Crofts are both British. Um, 
yeah, so yeah, it's it's very um, plurinational, plurinationalist, uh, listic and uh, pluricultural. Uh, <laughs> quite a quite a big team now. Yeah, and and yeah, it's it's um, this is you know what what a year uh, of game time with um, not even this full team, but like this well, right because uh, it's been an indie. This was what operation. this is what it gets you. Yeah, a small yeah. indie operation for most of that time. Um, yeah, and I think that like from from where we are here, which again is like pre demo pre everything, it's really nothing right now. But from where we are here, it's not too hard to uh, to visualize um, a more complete product, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, the 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 first thing that you see in the in the build queue there is the uh, is the tech center, and you need that tech center to be able to um, go to. Uh, uh, to be able to build like tech two units or tech three units from the factory. Right. And you see now that the factory's tech two, when you have it having it build tech one units, it builds them really fast. Yeah, I really noticed the difference. <laughs> Especially it. scouts. Scouts are like super cheap and fast to produce. Stop it. Oh, uh, by the way, the the waypoint from the factory isn't something that that is implemented yet. I see you oh, I see. trying to okay. do that, so <laughs> that's why <laughs> that's why it's not happening. Oh, there's more wells um, over there. I need to solve this mass situation. Uh, there you go. Uh, there we go. Look at this. They're everywhere. That was me thinking there were only a couple nearby. <laughs> you better get your base up and running. I'm coming for you. <laughs> All right. And uh, yeah, go ahead and build that tech center. I want to see you build that tech center. Just let me finish. You have, like those two engineers there. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was just trying to assist. <laughs> trying yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. They that. are assisting it. It's going to. It's going faster. And it's the first one on the list. Did you say? Yeah, that's right. It's the first one on the list. There you go. <clears throat> Woohoo! Now I've got some <laughs> income. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Look, you're not getting through my wall of and death. And you see, like, either. the. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make sure nobody comes in. That's right. Turtle all the way. <laughs> <laughs> Are, the, are these going to be is it going to be uh, shades of obviously it's a different game but sh shades of um, uh, UEF in a way are these going to be more turtly or is it going to be a different set of rules altogether oh uh, yeah it's a different set of rules uh, it's not uh, the, the the characteristics that, that make you know uh, the factional diversity in, in Sanctuary are are, um, Very different. are quite different from yeah um like it's not like one is guerrilla tactics, one is more turtle and, and stuff like that. It has actually um, more of a, a mix and match between the different um, strong suits that a, that a faction can have. Right. Um, so yeah. Um, what was I saying? Um, yeah. You. you uh, for for chosen, it's going to be um, you know a bit of a, a specialization with units being like uh, you have less. Um, uh not as many different choices on units but like some very uh, some units that are quite good at what they what they do uh for eda you're gonna have um you know uh more uh more heavy hitting units like uh, uh focusing on, on high dps more more of those glass cannons right um and uh and guard is gonna be um more of like the the different things that you can that you can do with uh, with technology like um, well um, oh there's the what was I saying you you do have a power a tech two power gen what am I saying <laughs> you know you know how to play this game better than I do go uh, apparently not because I do oh, not have the mass to or rather the alloys to well, start trying to attempt that actually yet. you do have quite a bit of storage on the mass so you might be able to finish it before it runs out. I don't know, dude. That you want to give that a second try? That looks pretty low, and it was plummeting. What am uh -huh. I building over here? Am I upgrading that to T? I'm upgrading this to T3, I think. 
Oh uh, yeah, that's what this was going. I on. didn't even realize I'd done that to T two. I definitely don't have a good handle on this game. <laughs> I'm about to seriously power okay, stall well, you myself. Can, you can tell that engineer to to uh, stop building that power plant, and it should it should get better. I think. Ah. Uh, or whatever. We can we can just let it finish. It's it's only minus eleven. It's not the worst. Come and murder your engineer. It's gonna be a bit. It's gonna be a bit slower. <clears throat> Love the scenery that you guys have put together. <laughs> really get a feel for how it's going to look ultimately. Yeah. So, uh, as Nine was saying in the previous video, you guys still on the lookout for a, a VFX artist? That's right, yeah. yeah. So we'd like to have multiple actually. There's a, there's such a, a high demand for VFX that yeah, uh, the more the merrier. Maybe you don't need all those T two engineers coming out of that factory. Oh, I didn't even realize they were building them. Go away. That's fine. Uh, so um, what can I build out of this thing? So yeah, maybe now you can like upgrade the the um, tech center. So ah, you can okay. select that uh, that building here. Yeah. You can tell it to go. There you go. So that that one was uh, the tech center for for tech two. You build it straight up for, for tech two, and then you can uh, upgrade your factories to to tech two and build tech two units as you've done. Yep. Um, and now you're upgrading it to tech three, so you'll be able to upgrade your factory to tech three and and build tech three units as well. Sounds good to me. Where are we going with this? Get some more of these over here. I want all of the mass. This time I'm really focusing on showing you the the game so I, i'm actually uh not i haven't built anything you can destroy my engineers if you want <laughs> i mean I, I was going to <laughs> yeah <go ahead. laughs> it's uh it's not gonna end the game or anything we don't have like a a start condition or an end condition okay, or anything cool. like that you don't have like a victory screen or anything wow look how quickly that builds what other things does can this guy build here? If you want the the bison, the the T three tank, uh, I think it's uh, it's towards the end of the list of the of the factory. Oh, you yeah, know, no, the factory's not tech three yet. Sorry, my bad. Yeah. Look at all of these beautiful structures. So that'll be a radar. Mm hmm. Initially. I believe you can also uh, upgrade it. Yeah, there it is. But as it stands, it does not do anything. <laughs> it is a, it is a nice prop. I mean, I would imagine it's one of the last things that you, you would need to Im implement as the Intel system. Not really. No, it's it's something that we want to move uh, on to, like right now. Now that we have all these other blocks, it's kind of like the 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 black sheep of in, in terms of like uh, missing uh, elements. Right. So um, so yeah, we're we're gonna start working on that. Uh, full screen. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, that's where we want to leave it for today a uh, message if you're a vfx artist and you're interested in getting in touch they just hop on discord and and try and find you send you a message yeah that's right yeah and uh and uh i'll you know i'll explain them how uh, how we do things and uh and i'll get them set up brilliant uh and yeah likewise um uh, if if you're uh, an investor and you like what you see um yeah we already did round one of investments for in heart media um, but uh, in May, uh, round two of investments uh, will open up end of May. Um, so, uh, so yeah, we'll be we'll be looking out for uh, for new investors. That's you know on top of um, the, the Kickstarter um, that that will be uh, running. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm, I'm hoping to to see some some new faces uh, for for that as well because uh, yeah, it was uh, it was incredibly. Uh, incredibly successful the first time around and uh and yeah um 
and like we mentioned the the discord um that's been that's been quite successful as well it's, it's grown by 3,000 members over the course of 2021 uh, that's quite a lot. Uh, thank you all. And, uh, and yeah, uh, the more the merrier and the more, uh, the more it will look like uh, this is a, a, a very enticing project to, to the investors. So yeah, that too. Fantastic. And uh, remember, guys, if you uh, like this content and other stuff related to Sanctuary, do subscribe to their Patreon. You'll get access to videos like this way in advance of when they appear on YouTube. And there's lots and lots of other goodies, of course, put out by the team very, very regularly. So if you want to check all that out, do subscribe. I don't think your tiers are particularly egregiously expensive. I've seen you have uh, um, have. Uh, a, a, yeah. You, have you just introduced well, the, the, a new tiered system, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we did a transformation for, for our Patreon where we went from non-tiered to, to tiered. And that went over super well, actually. The Patreon grew by quite a lot. Uh, it, like, uh, it was, uh, it was a quite a lot. It's not double, but it was, it was almost double. Um, anyways, yeah, we, the lowest tier we have is, uh, is $4 in euros. That's three euros. Um, so that'll get you access to like, for example, this video and, and all the, all the most important stuff. Right. So, um, not really a, a, a real need to splurge in order to, to get, um, good content, but you do have more, uh, um, uh, exclusive stuff, uh, going up in, in the tier list and it's, uh, it's worth it. So, yeah. Fantastic. Well, thanks very much for joining me once again, man. And we'll look forward to episode four as and when that comes. But until next time, ladies and gentlemen, stay well and stay safe. This is Guile and Tatsu signing out. Bye-bye.